Hey, it's Michelangelo Caruso. I'm going to tell you about a friend I made here in the neighborhood. Do one of those old fashioned unboxing videos. But before I do, if you like these kind of videos, subscribe to the Michelangelo Caruso YouTube channel. Just click that silver bell and it'll be summer forever. So a while back, um, during this is during the pandemic, um, you know, nobody was getting out of the house very much. And I found myself engaged in a, a BFF relationship with the UPS guy. <laughs> and, and this guy, uh, is a, he's a cool cat. And, uh, you know, uh, in a time where we just get, didn't get a chance to see many human beings, it was just so refreshing to see another piece of protoplasm moving outside the door, you know. And uh, this guy had the, uh, a very cheerful countenance. He's a good guy. He never stayed long, of course, never came inside or anything. But it was just a little greeting and a chance for human beings to communicate. And I, w I was really grateful for that, uh, for those moments during that very unusual time. So this guy had a habit that I had always wanted to ask him about. That um, I, I think I knew w why he did it, but I wanted to be sure. So one day he delivered this package, actually and uh, a few others like it and i said to him before i walked away i said hey i want to ask you a question he said what is it i said you beep the horn every time when you're leaving when you're you know pulling out of the spot here and i said why do you do that and uh, the reason i thought he might do it is because you know in every neighborhood in the country there are thefts these people these crazy people follow the ups truck around and actually steal packages off of porches and stuff like that and we, have, we don't have that issue in this neighborhood, but uh, it occurred to me that maybe because he's got a lot of neighborhoods and he doesn't know what happens after he leaves, rather safe than sorry, he's, he's going to beep that horn just a little bit, just toot it, you know, as he's pulling out. And he smiled as if very few people ask him about it or that he was proud of it or that he's glad somebody noticed. I don't really know. But he smiled and he said, yeah, that's one of the reasons. And I said, go on, I'm listening. What are the other reasons that you toot the horn as you're leaving? He said, well, you know, in the summer, kids are out playing. Sometimes they are curious about the truck and they're all around the truck when I come out from deliveries. And I, I also toot the horn as a safety precaution. He said, but just, you know, it just seems like a good idea for people in, in the neighborhood to know the rhythm of the delivery people. And in particular, it's a nice commercial for the UPS uh, company when he, people hear a horn outside and they look outside and they see it's brown. And I said, you know, the, you had me at the first reason, which was, uh, you know, to notify people that there might be a package on the porch for them. Um, so he brought this package to me uh, along with several others, and I'm going to open it for you now. This was the rage at one time, you know, you'd watch YouTube channels and sometimes the videos would go on and on, just like this one. <laughs> and it was a simple unboxing. Sometimes it was something that you had to put together. Sometimes it was a new product that was... Uh, some sort of a restricted purchase and since you weren't going to have one in the near future you might as well watch somebody else's joy as they open up the package. Um, I can promise you that none of you will be taking delivery on a package like this one at least this exact one although I can teach you how to do it. Uh, so we've got a, a little safety blade here and we're going to uh, open it up and see what's inside. I already know what's inside. Um, and this is not the first time I've opened a package like this because uh, I'm an author and I write books. And in today's society, um, we don't take delivery from printers anymore unless you're doing a huge production book and often then you're working with a publishing company. This particular book was self-published and because I self-published it, I sought out a POD vendor, print on demand vendor. So I'm actually taking the delivery directly from the printer. Now what's good about POD is I don't have to order 10,000 copies and put them on a pallet in my garage uh, and then only sell, you know, 100 and move the other 9,900 to the next garage every time I move. I can order what, what the, I think the market will bear. I can order what I want to pay for. Uh, you can order what you can afford to print at any given time. You can do 10, 100, 1,000, right? Uh, I don't know how many are in this box doesn't matter because I have several but uh, you know maybe there's a maybe there's a this is one of eight I don't know maybe there's a hundred hundred copies of the book in here um, but back in the old days you know you didn't you didn't have this kind of flexibility so it's really good now it's a good way to go about writing a book printing a book being out of pocket for the cost of those books until you sell them 
Um, so this is a pretty good way to go. This uh, printer that I'm using here is, uh, I've used DigiPod in the past, um, but I don't think this came from DigiPod. I think we used a different, and we use different ones for different reasons. You know, they all have, um, they all have um, sales and stuff like that, you know? I'm trying to see what the, who the vendor is. Steuben Press is the vendor. I think they've got another name that they work with, but Steuben Press is the, the, the people that sent me this book, and they do a good job. So uh, I can't tell you, the first time I, I took delivery on my own book, man, it was so exciting, you know? Um, it's, it's, I don't know how to compare it to any other experience. There are uh, people joke, and it's a joke because it's nothing like having a baby, but it's like birthing a baby, this idea of writing a book, sending it to the printer, taking delivery on it. It takes about, um, you know, it, it takes anywhere between nine months and 18 months to birth a book, right? Depending on who you're working with, how sophisticated the book is, whether it's got footnotes, endnotes, research, that sort of thing. And, um, I don't think that's a very fair comparison, and I'm sure most mothers wouldn't think it was a good comparison. But um, it takes a little while to do this. It's painful, right? <laughs> uh, everybody knows you're having a baby, and, and it better turn out to be a good person, a good, a good baby, you know? And I think people feel the same way about books when they, when they write them. So this is the new, uh, well, the new reprinted version of Work Hacks. And... Um, uh, I'm so proud of it because uh, reprints have a special joy for me, you know, a special uh, feeling when a reprint uh, is necessary. That means a bunch of people liked the book when it first came out and it's time now to um, make some more people happy. So I think I'm in my third or fourth reprinting of the Work Hacks book and uh, the actual subtitle is 300 plus cool ideas to speed career success and um, what these are uh, vetted time-tested, road-tested, boss-approved ways. We call it work hacks, like it's a sneaky thing or you're getting away with something. But they're just shortcuts, you know, um, ways to save time, ways to uh, do more efficient presentations, ways to, um, um, I don't know, uh, develop relationships, faster ways to develop relationships with people. And uh, so I'm grateful that, that everybody likes the book. I'm grateful that it's been so successful. And uh, of course, we're working on the next one already, which we'll tell you about some other time. But um, that's, that's the story. Um, so I'm very appreciative that, uh, that, uh, that you watched today. If you're interested, it's available on Amazon. And uh, you can buy it in bulk. If you just want to reach out to me, just comment in notes to me or reach out on the website, which is michaelangelocaruso.com. And we'll get you a bulk purchase on a bunch of them if you want to order for the team or whatever. It's my pleasure. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed the unboxing. I hope you enjoyed my UPS story, my new, my new BFF. And, um, and best of reading to all of you. Thank you very much. We'll see you soon.